So why have you undertaken a training course, a seminar, a workshop, or even taken a level three or an education training? So no matter what you teach, your subject, your level, there is a reason learners will attend your training sessions. Maybe they're forced to go by their employer. Maybe they want to get out of working for an hour. They need it for their job. They want to pay rise or ideally they are passionate about the subject and want to learn. Regardless, all of you learners have a motivation to attend and like business, you have something that they want. So we define motivation in a level three award in education and training. So either intrinsic, which means with, from within. So a learner wants to learn for their own fulfillment or extrinsic, which means outside, meaning that there is an external factor motivating learners such as they'll get promotion or pay rise. Some learners are perfect when they feel naturally enthusiastic to learn, but a majority need you as the tutor to inspire, challenge, engage, and stimulate them. Think of it this way. Business owners want to improve their bottom line, so they're enthusiastic about learning new marketing strategies, where other learners who have been referred by the job center are told they must attend, otherwise they'll lose the benefits. So there's gonna be a clear difference between the two when it comes to motivation. So with multiple years experience working in a corporate training environment, a lot of learners get sent on courses because the manager thinks it's good for them, but for learners to thrive, they need to buy into the course and believe it will benefit them in the long run. So you may have heard of Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs, which attempts to explain motivation in a classroom. He felt that obstacles need to be removed to help an individual to achieve their goals and suggested that there are five key motivational needs that must be achieved for maximum learning to happen. So in a level three award in education and training, we state that each level must be achieved before the learner can move on to the next stage. So it starts with the physiological needs, which makes sense is you need to be warm, comfortable, fed and hydrated to start. These are our basic human needs. So if you're hungry, you're not gonna be able to fully concentrate on actually what is going on. Stage two, which is the next level, is security and safety. This is whether the learner's in danger or is worried or anxious about anything that's happening, such as an upcoming test. So level three award in education and training teaches you how to adapt your assessments to lower your learner's anxiety. Stage three is about recognition and relationships. So has the learner created valuable relationships in the classroom? We've all been there when we are inspired by our peers and we want to impress others. Stage four is self-esteem and the training content are your learners learning something useful. So think about a lesson where you didn't see the value in it, compare it to a lesson where you thought it was the most important thing ever. This will dictate how much you try and retain. Then lastly, stage five, which is at the top, is about self-actualization. Are you realizing the benefits of the course? Are you reaching your potential? And this is easy to measure in long-term programs where you can see a direct link to your work environment. So we'll leave you with 10 tips we offer our learners in a level three award in education training when they are studying with us. So it's one, make tasks interesting, practical, and relevant. Two, negotiate clear targets. Three, maintain an organized and orderly atmosphere. Four, treat learners with respect and as an individual. Five, be aware of attention span time limits. Six, give ongoing constructive, supportive, and developmental feedback. Seven, give praise and encouragement. Eight, set realistic aims and objectives. Nine, use activities to get learners actively working together. And 10, vary your teaching, learning, and assessment approaches to reach all learning preferences.